I'm uh, Gautam Khanna. I am the CEO of uh, PD Hinduja Hospital and uh, Medical Research Center based at Mumbai. See, the custom duty hike of uh, approximately 7% which was announced a few weeks ago, I, it is going to impact the patients because what happens is the input costs for the hospitals will go up and the hospitals, although they may try to absorb most of it, but some of it will be passed on to the patient. So in the end, patient will have to uh, pay for it, end up paying for it. Now, I mean, I, although I understand the rationale for the government to introduce custom duty to push for Make in India initiative, but what we have to remember is that a lot of equipment for healthcare is currently uh, being imported into the country. Large equipments are being imported into the country. So it will impact the cost. So I think it's a little tough for the patients. So I think drugs being banned overnight, uh, there are a couple of challenges from the hospital perspective. Is that I think the hospitals need to know the process that those drugs, for example, may be in the pipeline, may be in the storage of the hospital, may be being dispensed to the patients. So what do we do with all those drugs? Are we supposed to throw them off? Are we supposed to give them back to the manufacturer? So the process is not complete. So I think the timing, so when we do something uh, just overnight, you know, the, this, there is a little bit of a problem uh, handling that. And uh, I guess if there is time given and there is proper planning, I guess we can adhere to that easily. You know, we are a more than six decades old hospital. And we were the hospital which was set up by our founder, Sri P.D. Hinduja, after the partition, which uh, with the fact that no Indian should go abroad for treatment. And he set it up and he said that health and education are birthright for every citizen of India. So with that philosophy, and uh, we were the first one in the country to introduce a full-time doctor concept. So that means doctors would work full-time with us, they wouldn't go anywhere. And multi it's a multi-speciality hospital. So what happens is that the hospital, the consultants are able to discuss with each other. The patient care is supreme. So it's an integrated, integrated patient care or everything is taken care of in one hospital. And, and the other thing is, our main philosophy is that we have completely ethical value-based delivery. So our values are very, very strong in the sense that we have, uh, you know, we do a lot of charity. So we are a not-for-profit tr uh, trust hospital. So our uh, objective uh, is patient care. So that comes number one because we are not, uh, you know, we are not for profit. And uh, the other thing is that we have been, one of our values is, you know, thinking globally, acting locally and technological advancements. So we have been the front runner in getting new technology in the country. For example, we were the first one in South Asia to get a gamma knife in the country. Now, of course, there are a few, but we are the first ones. We were the first ones in Mumbai to get NAT testing for blood. We have been first ones in doing many, many uh, initiatives, many, many initiatives for, uh, for the patients. For example, we were the pioneers in introducing uh, uh, short stay services where you do overnight treatment. Care at home was uh, our uh, unique experiment, uni unique program which was introduced some years ago uh, before many of the models which you see today. So we've been pioneers in doing that. We've, um, and uh, the other thing is, we've, our research is very, very strong. So our, actually some of our researchers have been featured on the Time magazine. We were, we have uh, worked with the government. We are among the established centers globally for some research. In education, we have uh, DNB for 23 specialities. Our nursing care is supposed to be one of the best. And, uh, you know, working environment is good. You have full-time doctors. It, it, it's a great hospital. So what we do is that we have certain categories of patients who are for charity. The rest have to pay. So from that we manage and, uh, you know, we just run our hospital efficiently. <laughs> we are not so much focused on medical tourism if some 
patients come from abroad, definitely we treat them and many patients come from abroad, but not because we want medical tourism, it's just that they come based on our reputation. But our focus more is on uh, treating whoever comes to a hospital. I, think I have a, affordability has different connotations and uh, my connotation may be different from the others. For many people, it is lowering the costs. Now my view is, of course we should try and lower costs, but there's a limit to how much you can do. Because if we want to give advanced quality care to the patients of India, and I, this is my firm belief that a human body of an Indian is the same as a human body of any Western individual. So if an, any person in a Western country is entitled to one quality of care, with that equipment and care, why shouldn't an Indian be entitled to that? So we, we have the best technology, we have the best infrastructure, which costs money because it's of international standards, so you, it, the input is international cost. But we are, we are being paid by the Indian standards. So there is a little bit of a uh, challenge and if you reduce that, there's a limit to how much you can reduce. On the contrary, what I think the solution for India's problem is that you need to have affordability in the sense of ability to pay. So what I am suggesting is not exorbitant prices, but reasonable prices where you can charge for reasonable procedures and the patient has the ability to pay through adequate insurance, which I think with current 25% penetration is really, really lacking in our country. And if that happens, that will ensure that even a hospital in a tier two town is able to attract you know, good equipments, good doctors, good nurses, good staff to give good quality care to the patients. But if we try and squeeze them, they will be forced to cut corners and then we will have a problem of skew of care, difference between a metro and a non-metro and you know, multiple centers. So I think this is a little larger question. But of course, we should try and see if with Make in India can we reduce the cost but not all equipment can be made in India. So it's, it's a little difficult path to trade. So it's not an easy answer to say.